Section 17.1, the common ion effect. So this is the first application of uh, aqueous equilibria that we're going to look at, and I think this is actually pretty simple. It's very much like uh, Le Chatelier's principle, if you remember it from chapter 16. And Le Chatelier, remember, said if you uh, have uh, a product or a reactant that you add to um, a mixture that's already in equilibrium, you will drive that equilibrium left or right in order to alleviate the stress added by that new uh, contribution. So if you were to have something that's a product and you add more there, it's going to, it's going to form a hump on the, on the right and then a dip on the left and it's going to move to the left in order to, to um, alleviate that stress. So in this, here's an example. This is acetic acid. Acetic acid is what's in vinegar, uh, so it is slightly acidic, but it's a weak acid. And a weak acid, remember, doesn't dissociate completely in water. Nearly all of it is still going to be the molecules of, of acetic acid rather than breaking apart into, into protons plus acetate ions. So here's acetate. This is your, your conjugate base, and this is your proton that's been joined with water to form hydronium. So remember, hydronium is what you're measuring when you're measuring acid. So it's the, it's the H in pH is hydronium. So if I have this, this is going to break apart. And so it's, it's going to move to the right. But if I add more of this conjugate base, and that's what I'm doing. In this case, I'm going to take the conjugate base of this weak acid and add it as a salt. So let's say you take... I don't know what you're going to add, maybe like sodium, sodium acetate, C2H3O2, okay. Uh, sodium acetate would be, as a salt, when you put that in water, it's going to dissociate, it's going to break apart into sodiums and acetates. Well, the acetate is already one of the ions there. It's already in equilibrium, so it's already balanced. So if you start piling up more acetates, you're going to shift it to the left to alleviate that stress. And by shifting it to the left, I'm making less acid. So, so because I'm making acid on the right, and if I'm shifting it to the left, my the level of acid is going to drop. Okay? Now remember, the more acid I have, the lower the pH. Because the pH is based upon the negative exponent. So the, the, the less acid I have, the higher the pH is going to be. Okay, so acetate is a weak base. So if I add a weak base to this solution, I'm going to raise the pH of the solution. But I'm going to raise this pH by, um, by shifting the equilibrium to the left, which makes less acid. And if I make less acid, I'm not going to keep dropping the pH. I'm going to actually raise the pH. So, so it's a common ion. The ion here is the acetate and the acetic acid, which is the conjugate base of that of that hydrogen that's being donated. So here's an example. The pH of 0.1 molar acetic acid is 2.89. Calculate the pH of the solution that's prepared by dissolving 0.1 moles of acetic acid and 0.1 moles of sodium acetate. So I've got here sodium acetate. This is this is the common ion. Acetic acid and acetate have the same C2H3O2 negative uh, ion together. So as I'm piling it on, I'm going to shift it back towards making more um, acetic acid and less acid. So the less acid that I have, the higher the pH should be. So my guess is that it's going to be higher than 2.89. It's originally 2.89 at equilibrium. I add some common ion and it should actually be less since the acid is actually one of the products. It'll shift it to the left and I make less product and so it's it's a higher pH than it would be. All right, so we've got, remember these are concentrations you put. This is an ice table. So I have the initial concentration, the change in concentration, and the concentration at equilibrium of all four of these. Remember water, we're gonna cancel because water is liquid so it doesn't it doesn't count. And your case of A is going to be just like any equilibrium constant. You have your, your products on the right, so the concentration of hydronium, 
times the concentration of acetate. Now, since this is a 1 and this is a 1, these are raised to the 1 power, divided by reactants. Water is, is not going to be counted, and so you're going to end up with your uh, acetic acid on the bottom. It's to the 1 power, so all of these are to the 1 power. Okay, 1, 1, and 1. Now, case of A, you can look up at the table. In the back of your book, in, in uh, Appendix D, are all of these aqueous equilibrium constants. So if you know what the, what the stuff you're talking about, you, it should tell you how, where, where it, does it lie. Does it make more product? Does it make less product? Um, all of these are in a table. So you find it. So this is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the 5 is your case of A. And so you're simply going to make some changes. So remember, this is equilib uh, This is a concentration you're changing. So as this is making acid, okay, breaking apart into hydrogens, which join with water to make hydroniums, so it's moving from the right to the left, the concentration of this stuff drops. Okay, so I'm going to have to subtract it, whatever the concentration change is, goes down. The concentration of these guys go up, and since this is a one-to-one-to-one -to -one -to -one relationship, these are all going to be the same, X, X, and X. One, mo one mole of acetate drops, or acetic acid drops, one mole of hydronium is formed, one mole of acetate is formed. Okay, That's just like for every peanut butter sandwich you tear apart, you're going to get some peanut butter and some bread. Okay, so it's, it's just that idea. One goes down, the others go up. Right, so you're just going to add them together. 0 0.10 minus x, okay, is what we have here. Uh, the reason why this is kind of fudgy zero is, remember, water itself can um, auto-ionize. So it's possible that there's a slight bit of acid in pure water, but it, they mostly cancel out, so you can kind of just assume it's zero. So 0 plus x is x, and so x is going to be the concentration of hydronium, and hydro, the concentration of hydronium is what we do the negative log in order to find the pH. So that's what we're looking for. And then the 0.10 uh, moles of the, uh, the sodium acetate plus x is going to be 0 0.10 plus x. Okay, so I just filled in. Here's the concentration of hydronium, so this is going to be the concentration of hydronium is X. That's concentration of hydronium X. The concentration of the, uh, of the acetate is 0 0.10 plus X. And the concentration of the acetic acid is 0 0.10 minus X. Okay. Now I've got another fudge here. If you want to put this in a, um, if you want to do the quadratic formula, you can do the quadratic formula. It takes a long time to do it. Um, I'm just going to fudge it. This is a weak acid. Weak acids don't make lots and lots of product. Almost all of this uh, acetic acid is going to stay acetic acid. It's not going to break apart into hydrogens and acetates. Okay, so it's a very, very small amount that's being changed. Okay, so since it's a small amount that's being changed, I can basically say that that's zero, and that's zero, and since those are zero, this is simply going to be x times 0 0.10 divided by 0 0.10. Well, this is going to cancel also, meaning that you're, you're going to equal x, and x is going to be 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5. Okay, so 1.8 times 10 to the negative 5 is going to be the concentration this is going to be the concentration of hydronium at equilibrium. Now to find the pH of that is very easy. You're just going to take the negative log of the concentration of the hydronium, and that will be your pH. So we found that the, the uh, concentration of hydronium is 1, 1 1.8 times 10 to the 5, which is just your case of A from the, from the back of the book. Uh, everything else happened to cancel, and you ended up with negative log of, put that in calculator, one, 8 times 10 to the negative 5 is 4.74.
remember originally it was 2.89 and now you add some common ion and you end up making less acid and the less acid you make the less acidic it is which means your pH goes higher it's more basic and you've gone from 2.89 to 4.74 so you, you've risen your you've become more alkaline or more basic uh, by adding a common ion if you put some um, indicator, which is just um, it's a organic uh, salt that you put into the solution that changes color with pH. Uh, if I were to put in some, um, there's different kinds. This is methyl orange. You put there's ten or different kinds of it. If you put some methyl orange in, you're going to have a different color change at pH. So uh, methyl orange happens to change color from yellow to red. Um, as it's going from um, from high pH to low pH, about 4.4, it'll switch. It'll switch. So if you've got a pH of 4.74, after adding the common ion, you're going to get a yellow. It'll be yellow, but uh, the original would be 2.89. So let's say that you have uh, acetic acid in water and it's at equilibrium. Okay, your your pH is going to be 2.89. A little bit of methyl indicator or uh, methyl orange indicator in there will make it kind of a violet or purple color. You add 0.1 moles of the acetate, and what happens is that the pH raises, and you end up with a yellow, uh, a yellow solution to indicate that you have a change in pH there. Now, this is just a, a bit of review. Since acetate is one of your products, if you add acetate, okay, you pile up acetate more, it's going to fall over in, uh, in order to alleviate that stress. And so it's going to shift to the left. As you shift to the left, you make less and less acid. As you make less and less acid, it's not as acidic as it was because you're making less than you did at equilibrium. That means it has to be a higher pH number than it would have been. So this is just a uh, chart showing you that the concentration of hydronium, which happened to have been a product, is going to drop as you increase the amount of acetate. The more acetate you have, the more it's going to drive the, this, the uh, whole equilibrium to the left, as it's to the left, it's going to make more reactants, which is the acetic acid, less acid, uh, less hydronium. And so the amount of hydronium is going to drop as you increase more and more and more of the acetate. So this is called the common ion effect.